What's up, everybody? Today, we're gonna try to take care of the worst rookie of the year Jordan ones that I've ever seen. Everything's wrong with these sneakers. So you can see right there, that nasty stain. I'm pretty sure that's feet sweat from the inside and out. I could be wrong, it could be something else. There's scratches on the leather, scratch on the suede. We have yellowing, creasing. Again, everything's wrong. We got a lot of work ahead of us, so let's get started. For before and after purposes, we'll put the right shoe to the side and focus only on the left. First, we're gonna take out the laces and insole and clean those up separately. God, what the? God. This is by far one of the worst insoles I've ever seen. The top part is completely gone. It's deteriorated into pieces. I'm pretty sure this was supposed to be white. It's completely brown. It's covered in hair. I think Bigfoot wore these. I'm just gonna go ahead, throw these away. We'll replace them later. Let's continue this cleaning. Before we keep it moving, if you're not already, subscribe to our channel. We drop weekly content on Mondays and Thursdays. Now the next step we're gonna do, before we put the shoe tree inside, we gotta use the compressor and our soft bristle brush to remove as much surface dust, grime, and hair on these sneakers. For this part, I am gonna be wearing a mask because I don't wanna breathe any of that stuff in. And for the rest of the cleaning, I am gonna be wearing gloves because these shoes are disgusting. Using the air compressor was crucial for this shoe. There was so much dust, so much hair inside. I'm glad I was wearing a mask and some gloves. Now we still have to go in and put our shoe tree inside the sneaker. This is gonna help us reshape the toe box and the crushed ankle area. Now let's squirt two squirts of our solution inside our bowl of water. All prepped, ready to go. For this cleaning, we are gonna be using our Rejuvenator Signature Shoe Cleaning Kit. Without a doubt, this shoe needs to go in the washing machine. It's extremely dirty. I also added a little bit of extra solution inside our bowl of water. Now to get it started, we're gonna be using our soft bristle brush to break down all the grime and dirt on the uppers and the insides. So far so good, the shoe's looking a lot better. We're gonna move on to the medium bristle brush and hit the leather and the suede one more time to get as much grain as possible off. Uppers are looking great, insides as well, thanks to the medium and soft bristle brush. Now to finish it off, we still gotta clean up the soles and the midsoles. Instead of using the stiff bristle brush, we're gonna use our brass bristle brush. It's gonna get the job done a lot quicker and easier. Pre-treatment is complete. Before we put the shoe inside the washing machine, we gotta give our lace a quick pre-treatment. We're gonna be using our leftover water and solution. Once it's all scrubbed down, I'm gonna lace the shoe back up, put them in the washing machine. That's gonna help give the shoe some structure. At the moment, it's a little flimsy. The back is crushed. Once the shoe goes in the washing machine and it's fully dried, it should look a lot better. the washing machine. Got the shoe out of the washing machine. It looks a million times better. Between the washing machine and the pre-treatment, we washed out all the grime, bacteria, dirt, and debris. Again, the shoe looks so much better now, and that's thanks to our Rejuvenator Signature Shoe Cleaning Kit. Now, there is a few things I need to touch on. When I took the shoe out of the washing machine, the toe box was completely out of shape. There was no structure to it. The shoe tree was not enough. So I went ahead using two microfiber towels and stuffed the toe box as much as I could, just so it could give it some structure and dry that way. Another thing I did was remove the lace, 
Originally, I was gonna keep it on. However, this suede was too close to that white tongue. I didn't wanna cause any bleeding, so I took off the lace. Another thing is, I wouldn't recommend putting the shoe inside the washing machine unless it needs it. This was a different case. This shoe was completely beat, disgusting inside and out. It had to go in the washing machine, but the suede bleeds like crazy. On the stitching in certain areas, it's a little darker than usual. That's thanks to the suede where it bled. We're gonna try to remove that later on in this video, but again, I wouldn't recommend putting the shoe in the washing machine unless it needs it. Lastly, as the shoe was drying outside underneath the sun, I was using our brass bristle brush to brush it in several directions, just so at the end, the suede wouldn't be all crunchy, and it did make a big difference. The suede right now is buttery soft, Originally, the suede was rock solid. There was no buttery texture to it at all anywhere on the shoe. So that's a good indicator that the suede wasn't completely cooked. Yes, the suede is still pretty faded, but later on in this video, I'm gonna try to fix that. The next step is to remove the oxidation off these outsoles using our Rejuvenator Sorta Vibe and the VIG 2000. Got the shoe out of the VIG 2000. After a couple hours on each side, the soles look back to brand new white. One thing I do want to touch on, as I was applying the Rejuvenator Sorta Vibe onto the soles, my hand slipped a little bit and I got some on the suede, right on the edge, nothing too crazy. I grabbed our microfiber towel and dried as much of it as possible. There is a mark, I'm not too worried about it. With some sandpaper, it'll come right off. The next step is using some sandpaper to prep the leather. On the toe box, we have a lot of light scratches. Luckily, they're not too deep. So using some 800 grit sandpaper and some 1000 grit sandpaper, we should be able to get it nice and smooth to start the prep work. The toe box is nice and smooth. To finish the prep work, we're gonna use some acetone and condom balls to give it a nice wipe down. After that, we're gonna tape off everything but the white leather so we can lay down some paint. All taped up, before we lay down the paint, I had to create a custom mixed paint. It's not straight white, it's a little bit off-white, so I grabbed some white paint and added two drops of brown paint to get the perfect mix. Now let's lay it down with the airbrush. Paint job looks solid. Now there's still one more step I gotta do before we wrap this part up. Anytime I airbrush several coats of paint onto the leather, it gets kind of grainy. To get it back to its original smooth texture, we're gonna give it a quick sand, get rid of all that graininess. After that, we'll give it one more coat of paint. After we take care of that, we'll go outside and spray some Krylon and finish. Toe box is complete, that's a night and day difference. For the side panels, there isn't any deep scratches. There is some light scuffs, however. Later on in this video, I am gonna go back with some white paint and a detail brush to touch up those areas. It's very minimal, so just right here, a little bit of right there, and right there. Again, we'll take care of that later. My next focus is the suede. Overall, it is pretty clean, but I do wanna hit the suede with some 600 grit sandpaper. Right now, it's uneven in certain areas. Back here, we have some marks. Over here, I got some Sorta Vibe. We gotta get rid of that. So let's go ahead and even out the suede. Good to go with the sandpaper. We got the random marks completely off. Everything for the most part is nice and even. 
and it's a lot softer than before. Now the biggest challenge for this restoration is bringing back the color on the suede. I'm not gonna dye it because trying to mix a perfect dye for this tone is gonna be really hard. I'm not gonna be using Rejuvenator Mink Oil because at this point it's too faded. So we're gonna try to use Angela Suede Renew. In the past I've had good luck with this stuff on certain projects. However, sometimes the suede becomes too dark or it changes the texture. In those cases, I've gone back with some Rejuvenator Solution and a soft bristle brush to give it a quick, even cleaning. Once it dries, I go back with a dry bristle brush and brush it one more time and I've gotten some great results. We're gonna spray it all around and we'll see how it turns out. First coat is fully dried. In some areas, it looks really good. However, in some other areas, it's still pretty light. So we're gonna go back one more time and spray another coat. Second coat's been applied, it's fully dried. It's starting to look a lot better. It's still not quite there yet. We are gonna try to clean the shoe one more time. Hopefully a combination of the Suede Renew and our solution brings back more of the color. Once we give it a quick, even cleaning, we'll put it outside so it can air dry. All right, let's let these air dry one more time outside. After letting the shoe dry for about 10 minutes, these are the results. Suede Renew and cleaning up the shoe did very little. The shoe is still pretty faded and ashy. Off camera, I drenched the shoe in Suede Renew and Rejuvenator Mink Oil, and honestly, it did nothing. So the next best thing we can do is put the color back by dyeing it. First, we gotta do a lot of taping. We're gonna tape off everything but the suede. So for this part, I don't have a brand new Rookie of the Year to match the exact color of the suede. So I went on Google and matched it as close as possible. I went ahead and used Angelus Mustard, Angelus Vachetta, Vanilla to lighten up the tone. I also went ahead and used Too Soft so I could adhere to this material. And lastly, I went ahead and mixed it with some Jacquard Airbrush Medium to get it ready for the airbrush. I mixed it up real well to get the perfect tone. Now we're gonna apply it with the airbrush. So far so good, I'm actually really impressed with the color match. Behind this panel, there's some leather. The comparison is pretty close. Now we still have to do this back piece. For the Wings logo, I am gonna spray over it. However, I am gonna go back with the Rejuvenator wipe and give it a quick wipe down. After that, I'll dry it. I'm using our medium bristle brush as I go. After every light coat, after I dry it, I go in and brush it. That's what's keeping the buttery soft texture. Color looks great. The next step we gotta do is very important. We gotta go outside and spray some rejuvenator water and stain repellent. We gotta protect the suede. We gotta lock it in. We don't want it to come off. Let's go outside. After two solid coats and letting the shoe dry, we got the shoe fully protected thanks to our repellent. Now let's go ahead and remove all the tape. Tape is off, we're almost done with this restoration. We still gotta go back and touch up the white leather. We're gonna be using the exact same paint that we used for the toe box. With a small detail brush, we're gonna go in and touch up these tiny little scuffs. All right, this restoration is basically done. Everything's been touched up. I'm really happy with how this shoe looks. The last step I gotta do is take out all the stuffing from the toe box. The only reason I left that stuffing inside throughout this entire restoration is just so that toe box can maintain that structure. Once I take it out, you'll see what I mean. Check it out, no stuffing, the toe box, it's back to that nice original shape. All that's left to do is to lace it up. We also got this brand new authentic Jordan insole from the Boneyard for this freshly restored sneaker.
All right, guys, that's gonna bring us to an end on this full restoration of these Rookie of the Year Jordan 1s. I gotta say, this is probably one of my favorite restorations of 2023. These cleaned up so nicely. It was to the point that these shoes were so disgusting inside and out that I had to put on gloves and a mask. I typically don't do that. There was sweat marks from the inside and out all over the suede on the toe box and the back area. On the inside, there was so much hair, so much lint. The insoles were completely deteriorated, but after giving the shoe a pre-treatment and putting the shoe in the washing machine using the Rejuvenator Signature Shoe Cleaning Kit, we got the shoe fully cleaned up, inside and out, all the bacteria fully flushed out, but after that, we still had a lot of work to do. We brought the leather back to life specifically on the toe box by sanding it down and giving it a fresh repaint, and it's still buttery smooth. We removed all the yellowing from the soles using Rejuvenator Sortivive and the V2000. We also removed the yellowing from the tongues. The best part about this restoration is a suede. I didn't think we were gonna bring it back to life, but after cleaning it up and giving it a fresh redive, they look great. Overall, this restoration was pretty simple. It's all in the prep work. You can find all our products at rejuvenator.com. Use my promo code down below to save some money. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is Vic Almighty. I'll catch you guys next Monday. See y'all.